Hello beautiful Aquarius and welcome to your angelic guidance with me Julie Poole and this is for July 2020. Uh, we've got a range of cards I'm going to pull them now and um, this is good for your sun, your moon, your rising, your Venus and for cross watching okay so whatever feels right for you you've got stag spirit there take the lead okay you are being put in charge of you let's see what else is going on for you never ending story okay so something is going round in circles a little bit let's see what else they want to tell you you've got archangel michael with enchantment He's, that card's come out a couple of times, actually. What else do we have for my beautiful Aquarius, please, for July? This is general guidance, so please do take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Lend a hand, okay. So, let's see what the tarot want to add. Tell me more about this advice, guidance, information for my Aquarius cards feel like they're not quite ready okay that means that the energy is building building up which means that they're probably going to be quite chatty whenever it builds up like that it's because they've got a lot to say and they're getting kind of the energy in where it needs to be Ooh, king and queen of cups Ten of Cups, Queen of Wands, there's a lot of Royals here, oh the Sun, and Justice, wow there is a lot of power here Aquarius, a lot going on for you my lovelies, now that's a little bit bright, let me see if I can adjust that for you, there we are, that's better isn't it, we can see what we're doing now, it's a little bit bright, okay, so we've got Stag Spirit, take the lead never end in story lend a hand and archangel michael with enchantment now from the tarot we've got the four of pentacles with the knight of cups we've got the queen of cups the king of cups it's all going on ten of cups and then the queen of wands and the sun with justice finishing off with these two major arcana cards all about fairness balance positivity brightness there is a lot of power here aquarius so Okay, what's going on? Let's start with our beautiful stag. This stag spirit with all of those. He's wearing a kind of dressing here, a headdress on his antlers. He is the white stag. He's in charge of his herd. This is you, Aquarius. You're in charge of your herd, whether that be your family or yourself, your own sense of self. You are taking the lead. You are taking yourself forward into July in a very powerful and strong way. And with all these royals here, um, you know... <laughs> two queens a king a knight you know there is a lot of personal power here going on for you and potentially around you now the never-ending story i want to put this with archangel michael and enchantment you see you've got pegasus there magic sparkles getting back into the magic of life and this is where this wants to kind of come out the never-ending story is a kind of oh god here we go again is this ever going to change you know when is it my turn that kind of energy is there with that never-ending story but because of the stag spirit and you're taking the lead this is the time this is your time Mm, how interesting this is your time they're repeating that so whatever you felt stuck on that things no matter how hard you work they don't come together no matter how much effort you put in it doesn't seem to pay off you know this is a 37 that comes down to a one leadership so where you might have felt in the past um just you know it doesn't seem to click for me it was either the wrong door or the wrong time that you were knocking on. It just wasn't happening. But now is your time. Right. So that 
in terms of how that relates is going to mean different things to different people. Now is your time for what? We'll move into this in a minute. But you are being asked to lend a hand to somebody else here. I don't feel this is you needing a hand because it's with the stag, which is you taking the lead. I don't feel that you're the one reaching out for help. I think you're the one helping others. So if you are thinking about moving into management, moving into your own business, um, taking uh, a project forward yourself, something creative where you are, you're taking the lead here. You, This is leadership all the way through. This is leadership. OK, so you're going to be helping others. Now, this could be that you're doing some form of yeah, a little bit like I do, you know, doing readings and doing healings and doing therapies in, in whatever way that applies for you. You know, that might not be relevant for you, but this is about what you're doing is helping others. You know, you may be working with children or vulnerable people or in care, in the care setting. You're helping others, but you're taking the lead here. You're taking it forward and you're getting back into the magic that has, has been a little bit lost, I feel, for you, Aquarius, you know. Um, but with the stag and the white stag is a kind of magical figure as well. And with it, you know, that underneath there, Pegasus, this is about the magic coming back. You're moving into a leadership role where you are going to be helping others and you're coming away from nothing ever works out for me. Now, as we move into the tarot, you've got the four of pentacles rooted down by the knight of cups. Now, four of pentacles is all about, I'm, I'm not sure if I've got enough. Uh, can I do it? Now, that could be, have I got enough confidence? Not just about, have I got enough money? This is, have I got enough self-belief? Have I got enough to be able to enough energy, enough drive, enough knowledge. What is it that I'm not sure if I've got enough of? Because, you know, with the Four of Pentacles, he's always seen holding on tightly because he's not sure if there's more coming. So he wants to hang on to what he's got. Can be a little bit of the miserly energy. You know, it's like mine, 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 which comes from lack, which comes from insecurity. But I want you to trust here because look at this power, Aquarius. The Knight of Cups is with that, right? Knights are about action. Taking action on what's going to make you happy. So loosen your grip a little here. Loosen your grip because while you're holding on really tight to those pentacles, you're not open to receive. Yeah, your arms aren't open. So if the universe throws you a ball, you can't catch it. So just trust, put those pentacles down, they're not going anywhere, open your arms to receiving and focus on bringing in your happiness in whatever way that is for you. But we've got th the three top uh, energies of the cups here, the knight and the queen and the king of cups. This is all about what makes you fulfilled, content, feeling whole and complete in who you are, feeling that you are, you were designed to be happy. You were created to be happy, to create your own happiness, to create your own world, not to get caught up in somebody else's world, which is great for them, but not great for you. This is about you taking the lead in your happiness. Everything about this reading, this month for you, Aquarius, is about where is my happy? Because it's time that I stepped up to the plate took the lead on my happiness and said, I am going to take this forward. I'm getting back into my magic. I'm getting back into the flow and the ease of life. And I'm moving into my happiness. As you come to the middle of the month here, you're really balancing up. Um, now, what do I mean by that? Uh, male and female, we've, but we've got both within us, masculine and feminine. You're balancing up. You're feeling that I'm feeling into it with my intuition, but then I'm acting on it with my masculine doing energy. This is can also be a couple. So this could be you and your partner. This could be you and a business partner. This is a couple that are taking things forward about their happiness. With the Ten of Cups there, this could be a proposal. This could be moving in together. This could be buying a home together. Um, I mean, the Four of Wands is traditionally the marriage buying a home card. But as you know, with, with all of this, it feels that for some of you, absolutely could be moving 
in together, buying a home together, building a life together, because the Ten of Cups is the happy ever after card, and everything that here is about my happiness, and the sun is next to it, which is also about happiness, positivity, the light and the bright coming through. And that Ten of Cups, the Happy Ever After card, is about the happy home and family, stability, security. And then this is you, Aquarius, male or female, this is you in your power. The Queen of Wands, I believe, is the most powerful female in the deck, even more so than the Empress. The Empress is, even though she's higher than a queen, if you like, and um, she's all about creating, creative energy, creative. She is all about this is me. This is what I want. I'm absolutely determined. I know what it is. I'm clear about making it happen. I'm motivated. I'm driven. I am having my happy ever after and nothing and no one's going to stop me. And if you think you are, you just get out of the way because I'm coming. This is a very powerful energy as you're moving. I'm feeling this is around as we go into Leo season, you know, towards the end of July that you are really focusing now about your long-term security, your long-term home, your long-term happiness, because you're saying to yourself, it's time. It's absolutely time, you know? We've got the sun with justice here. Justice is fairness, balance, also indicates contracts so this could be a new home signing the documents for a new home the sun is positivity confidence self-belief the happiness the sun coming out the warmth the light the bright and it's rooted down with justice and which has also got a sun okay we've got the sun here we've got the sun here and this is also about balance because we've got the scales here again and saying right this is about fairness it's my time. I've waited a long time for this. I've I got to the point where I even wondered if it was ever happening. I kind of lost a little bit of hope here with that never ending story. But this is the month. I can feel it in my bones. I can feel it in my being. This is the month for me to have my justice, to have my just rewards, to work, to create a life that for me is fulfilling, has meaning, has depth, has abundance of love and flow and happiness. This is what it's all about for me this month. So Aquarius, however this applies for you, there is a shift here massively towards your happiness this month. And happiness isn't just about having a laugh and having a play. It is really about that deep, deep well of well-being, of feeling that content, that fulfilled in your heart, in your soul. You know, so many people are doing jobs and living lives that just don't nurture them in any way. They just don't give them any richness in any way. And I'm not just talking about money, but the enrichment of life. And you this month are saying, I am creating a life here. I'm taking the lead and I'm making my life work for me. It's my time. It's my turn. And the time is now fantastic. So that is what I have for you Aquarius. I hope that helps. Thank you so much for joining me for this general read for July. There'll be another reading for you, a love reading which is for couples and singles which will be posted on the 1st of July. If you're interested in that please join me there and if not join me for the weeklies. I upload every week a general energy for the following week. So Thank you, thank you for being here. Love you guys. Have an amazing month. Take care. Bye-bye.